Hi everyone! Have you ever heard about e-cigarettes? It's a trend now. Hi! Yes, I've heard about it. If I'm not mistaken, we have an assignment on it. Yep, that's true. Here's what I found. What is e-cigarette? Electronic cigarette, also known as e-cigarette, e cheats and bed pens. They are all classified as electronic nicotine delivery system or ENS. ENS are non combustible tobacco product. They are battery powered device that people use to heat liquid into a vapor that can be inhaled. The inhaled vapor may contain nicotine, the additive drug in the tobacco, flavoring and toxin including ones that can cause cancer, carcinogenic. The liquid inside may smell pretty but it can have high nicotine content. When the e-liquid heats out, more toxic can are formed. Some of you must be wondering what is integrate classified as. First, we look for the aim of integrate. Integrate aims to provide the sensations of inhaling tobacco smoke without the smoke. Some of people believe that integrates can help them quit smoking tobacco, but other study also found that even integrates claiming to be nicotine free, it actually contains trace and FDA class them as tobacco products since they have many cigarette contents. They are variety of models available. Some look like a regular cigarette, some look very different. First, we have cigar lights, look similar to the tobacco cigarettes, bed pens, port system and mods, generally the largest e-cigarette device. Contents of the e-cigarette include the nicotine, a highly additive substance that negatively affects adolescent brain development. Propylene glycol, a common additive in food, also used to make things like antifreeze, paint solvent, and artificial smoke in the food machine. Acrolein, diacetyl, diethylene glycol, cadmium, and also the ultrafine particles all are linked to the lung disease. Heavy metals such as nickel, tin, lead, and we have carcinogens, chemical known to cause cancer, including the acetaldehyde and formaldehyde. And lastly, we have benzene, a VOC found in the car as house. Thank you. Wow, great poster you got there, Sarah. But I wonder how it all started. Oh, I actually found a video about it. Let's watch it. History of e-cigarette. In 1965, Herbert A. Gilbert invented the first device that closely resembled the modern e-cigarette. He replaced tobacco and paper with heated, moist and flavoured air. A battery-powered heating element would then heat the flavour elements without combustion. In 1986, Phil Ray conceptualised the Favour Cigarette. It is a plastic, non-combustible and smoke-free product shaped and cut it like a conventional secret that contained a filter paper soaked with liquid nicotine so users could draw a small dose by inhaling. In 2003, Honlik invented the modern e-secret. It gained attention as a potential cessation device or an alternative secret product. It is an electronic atomizing secret which uses high-frequency piezoelectric ultrasound emitting element to vaporize a pressurized jet of liquid containing nicotine, which would produce a smoke-like vapor. In 2006, e-cigarettes entered the European and United States market. In 2007, Umar and Tariq Sheh invented the cartomizer, which is a mechanism that integrates the heating coil into the liquid chamber. In 2008, Ted and Matt Rogers developed the first mod to replace the e-cigarette case to accommodate a longer-lasting battery. It is also known as the screwdriver. In 2009, Joytech developed the Ego series, which has the power of the screwdriver model with a user-activated switch. In addition, the Chloromizer was also invented. It contained a wicking material, an e-liquid chamber, and an atomizer coil with a single clear component, which allows the user to monitor the liquid level in the device. In 2010, international tobacco companies began to produce and market their own e-secret brands and also acquire existing e-secret companies. That is all on the history of e-secrets. Thank you. Interesting. Now I need to know how it works though. You guys also think it's intriguing, right? Like how it actually mimics the tobacco cigarette.
Well, no worries, I got you. So look at this, there are various shapes and sizes of e-cigarette out there. No wonder it attracts people to use the device. And also, based on my finding, e-cigarettes works like this. It was battery, battery operated that emit a vaporized solution to inhale the smoke. And most of the time, this solution contains nicotine. And the aim of this device is to provide the sensation of inhaling tobacco smoke. Alright, now I will show you an illustration of the e-cigarette to explain the parts that are responsible for certain function of this device. So first here we have the mouthpiece. The mouthpiece is a cartridge fixed to the end of a tube. And here we also have an atomizer which heats the liquid and causes it to vaporize so that person can inhale it. And then here we have the battery which functions in powering the heating element. And lastly we have the cartridge. This cartridge will store the solution or we call it e-liquid or e-juice. It contains combination of nicotine, a base which is usually propylene glycol and also flavoring. So the user will suck on the mouthpiece and the heating element vaporizes the solution which then the person will vape or inhale. So there are many flavors which is uh, it vary widely from traditional and menthol to watermelon and lava flow. Some e-cigarette taste like traditional cigarettes and even mimic the taste of specific brands. So yeah, that's it. You guys got it? Wow, so mechanical. Good explanation by the way. Anyway guys, do you heard about recent outbreak in the news? No worries, I got you. Hello Malaysian, welcome back to Metro News. I am Ilya, your number one news reporter with a quick update about the recent outbreak of the lung injury that is closely related to the use of e-cigarette or vaping. E-cigarette is now a hot trend among our community, especially the youngsters. This is a serious matter as it's related to the high school students that still have a long journey and bright chances in the future. According to the National Youth Tobacco Survey conducted by CDC in 2020, high school students prefer to smoke e-cigarette with 19.6% compared to conventional cigarettes with only 5%. Along with that, another research had been done in 2018 that shows 40.3% of students in Malaysia end up to be dual users, consequently increasing the risk to develop respiratory disease. The mortality of assuming that e-cigarette is healthier than conventional one should be seized as it still contains high level of chemical even though most of the producers claim that their product contains 0% of nicotine. Recent outbreak of lung injury associated with the use of e-cigarette or known as e valley should be an open-eyed issue to the community on how dangerous it can be. Based on national and state data, the cause of e valley have been identified to be vitamin E acetate in which can be found in 94% of e valley samples. Surprisingly, it is the same chemical that can be found in THC containing e-cigarette that act as thickening agent. This chemical can persistently stay in the lung for a long period and cause damage to your pretty lung. Now, we know nothing really safe to be inhaled. Thus, the urge to slowly decrease the usage of e-cigarette in the community really need action from everyone in the community. Eat what you can ingest, smoke what you can inhale, but not everything is really safe. Signing off, Ilya, your number one news reporter. That's shocking news. Don't you think the reporter looks familiar though? But never mind. Guys, I just remembered that I had contacted my friend and asked him about the side effects of e-cigarettes. Really? That's great. Yeah, and luckily, he emailed me a video on it. Let me just show you guys the video. Hello Kamal, I am Dr. Tun. Thank you for the email you sent me a week ago. You want to know about the side effect of the e-cigarette, right? Don't worry, I can help you out. I believe that you know that e-cigarettes do not contain any tobacco. However, it still contains dangerous substances that can affect our body health. First one is toluene. Toluene can cause headache and irritate the eyes and also your skin. Other than that, it also contains substances called propionaldehyde that can cause nose bleeding. Not to forget, the major substance of the e-cigarettes liquid is nicotine, where it will be higher nicotine content compared to the regular cigarettes. And this nicotine will lead to addictions, causing the person to keep using the e-cigarettes. 
There are people that say e-cigarettes is less harmful than regular cigarettes. It is true based on CDC. However, CDC also states that e-cigarette is not safe to be used, especially for the non-smoker, and also for the people that use both e-cigarettes and regular cigarettes at the same time. Based on an editorial by Eisenberg, e-cigarettes should not be labeled as safe as in the study. Both cigarettes shows increase in marker of oxidative stress and also can increase the stiffness of the artery wall. In your email, you also asked me about vitamin K in the illiquid used for e-cigarettes. You asked me whether the vitamin K is safe or not, right? Let me get this straight. Vitamin K is not harmful if you digest it, but it becomes harmful if you inhale it. Some illiquid contain vitamin K acetate that can lead to an increase of the lung fluid cavity that can cause the surfactant layer to collapse. This will lead to lung inflammation and shortness of breath. Don't get confused about the benefit of vitamin K. Vitamin K is safe to be consumed or ingested as our gut can digest more things compared to our lungs. Here are some extra details for you. The CDC actually conducted a study called Evely, which is e-cigarette or vaping use associated lung injury. And in this study, it shows that this e-cigarette can cause lung injury due to the endothelial dysfunctions. Due to this, CDC comes with a statement that this e-cigarette should be prohibited as it can increase the potential of smokings among the non-smoker, such as the children, teenagers, and even women. I think that's all I can share with you for now. Hope you get the information that you are looking for. Good luck with your assignment. See ya. It's a great video. Thanks, Kamal. Now, we have all the details we need for the side effects. Um, what is the difference between e-cigarette and tobacco cigarettes? Anyone know? Ahem, <coughs> don't worry about that. Dr. Kamal is here to save the day. <laughs> Just kidding. But seriously guys, I have just the thing that can help us. Wait. Ta-da! Okay guys, as you can see, I prepared a slide for the similarities and the differences of the e-cigarettes and the regular cigarettes. For the similarities, I just put both contain nicotine. But yeah, the amount of nicotine and the way it is delivered is different. Let's start with the nicotine uptake. So the difference is e-cigarettes, we get the nicotine from heating the liquid that contain the nicotine which we call illiquid. But for regular cigarettes, we get the nicotine through burning of tobacco. Next is the amount of nicotine. For e-cigarettes, the amount of nicotine is depends on the type of the illiquid and how we use the e-cigarette. But for the regular, we have fixed amount of nicotine in each cigarette. Okay, for the taste, for e-cigarettes, we have multiple flavor depends on the illiquid. But for regular cigarettes, there are no multiple flavor. And for the heating of nicotine, we use rechargeable battery for the electronic cigarettes. But for the regular cigarettes, we use combustions by using lighter or any source of fire. Okay, this is the last light. We will talk about maintenance. E-cigarettes need maintenance as the part of the e-cigarettes may be broken due to the user itself. Compared to regular cigarettes, it don't need any maintenance. For the long-term effect, e-cigarettes can promote cancer and lung injury, but more study is needed for the long-term effect. Compared to regular cigarettes, it can reduce sperm count, it can cause blockage in the vein or, or artery, and also it can lead to cancer and lung injury. So that's all for the slides. Okay guys, we know a lot about e-cigarettes now. So do you guys think it is a better substitute for regular cigarettes? I'd say no. It may be less dangerous than regular cigarettes because it exposes users to fewer chemicals. However, it is still unsafe to be used in the long run. Yeah, I totally agree with Sarah because there are better options out there for smokers who want to quit smoking. Such as they can join a cessation program or going on a nicotine replacement treatment which includes use the use of nicotine patch, nicotine chewing gum, mouth spray or inhaler under doctor's prescription. So it is very clear that e-cigarettes are not a better substitute for normal cigarettes. Do you guys agree? Oh no, look at the time now. I think I've got to go now guys. Thank you for everything. Bye bye. bye, -bye. See ya.